In today's video, you will learn 4 ways to fix USB drive not showing up in Windows computers. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have a USB drive when I connect it to my computer. My computer detects it, but when I go to File Explorer, it doesn't show up here. So our first method is updating or uninstalling the drivers. To do that, just click on this Windows icon and type Device Manager. Just open it. Once open, double click on Disk Drives. If your USB drive is showing up here, just right click on it and click on Update Driver. And select the second option. And from here, select the last option and select your USB drive and click on Next. Once it's done, now eject your USB drive and plug it back in and see if the problem is fixed or not. As you can see, mine is still not fixed. Alright, if updating your driver didn't work for you, then your second option is uninstalling the driver. So come back to the device manager and right click on USB drive once again and click on uninstall device. Click on uninstall which will remove the driver of your USB drive. Now eject it and plug it back in. As you can see my USB drive is showing up here but it's not showing up on my Windows File Explorer. So try this method by yourselves. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then don't worry. Just keep watching the video and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix the problem. Alright, now let me show you the second method. Our second method is using PowerShell to fix a USB drive that is not showing up in your computer. First of all, connect your USB drive. Next, click on Windows icon and type Windows PowerShell. Right click on it and make sure to run this command as administrator. Once PowerShell is open, now type msdt.exe. Make sure to type every command very carefully. After typing this command, hit space and type dash id space device diagnostics. Make sure there is no space between two words, device and diagnostics. Just type it without the space and after that hit enter which will open up this troubleshooting wizard window. What it will do is it will troubleshoot your USB drive. So as you can see mine is currently disabled because my windows version is not supported for this command. In your case if it is supported then follow the on screen instructions. I would have shown you the process if my windows version was supported but unfortunately it's not supported. Alright now let me show you the third method. Our next method is changing the letter of your drive to fix the problem. First of all, connect your USB drive to your computer. Next, right click on this PC icon, click on manage, which will open up this computer management window. After that, click on disk management. There you will see your USB drive. So just right click on it and click on change drive letter and paths. Mine is currently unclickable. As you can see, it's grayed out. If yours is available like this, then click on it and assign a drive letter that is not already in use. Alright, there is another way to change the letter of your USB drive by using a software. There are a lot of software out there, but in this video, I'm going to use the software. It's called EaseUs Partition Master. This is a free software. You can download it from the link given in the video description below. Just install the software into your computer. After installation, open it up. And under Partition Manager, click on Start Now. Once the software is open, select your USB drive, right click on it and click on Change Drive Letter. And as you can see, currently no drive is assigned to this USB drive. So from this list, select a drive that is not already in use. So I'm going to select letter G. You can select whichever letter you want. Make sure the letter you selected is not already in use. After that, click on OK and click on execute one operation click on apply and now you can see my usb drive is appeared here see this is my usb drive all right now let me show you the fourth and last method 
Our fourth and last method is using CND or command prompt to fix the problem. Warning! This method will erase everything from your flash drive. If your data is important to you and you want to rescue your data from your faulty USB drive, then I will leave the link of the some of the best and free data recovery software in the video description below. Alright, now let me show you how this method works. Alright, first of all, connect your USB drive to your computer. Next, click on this Windows logo and type CMD and right click on this command prompt app and run it as administrator. Once it's open, type disk part. Make sure there is no space between disk and part. Hit enter. Next type list disk. List space disk. Hit enter. It will show you all the disks that are attached to your computer. My USB drive is on disk 1. So you have to select it. In order to do that, just type select space disk followed by disk number. In my case, my disk number is disk 1. In your case, it will be different. So make sure to select the correct one. If you select the wrong one, then you will end up formatting your computer's hard drive. So be very careful. After that, hit enter. Now the disk is selected. Now next command is clean. Just type clean, hit enter. Alright, the next command is create partition primary. Hit enter. The partition has been created successfully and now type format space fs equal sign and now type the file system that you want to format your USB drive to. If you want to format your USB drive into NTFS, just type NTFS and hit enter. So in my case, I am going to format my USB drive in FAT32. After typing the file system, just hit enter and wait for CMD to format your USB drive. It will take a lot of time. Once this formatting process is completed, hopefully your USB drive will be fixed. Ok, while formatting my drive, I got this error. As you can see here it says virtual disk error. So now let's try to format it in NTFS file system. Hopefully this time it will work. So let's see what happens. Three hours later. Once the formatting process is completed, you will see this message. Here it says this part has successfully formatted your drive. Now all you have to do is type exit and close this CMD prompt. And after that, eject your USB drive and reconnect it. And hopefully your USB drive will showing up here. As you can see here is mine. So yeah, that's how this method works. So there you have it guys. That is how you can fix a USB drive that is not showing up in your computer. Please let me know which one of these four methods were helpful to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. And also, if this video was helpful to you by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Give your one like and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you in the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Peace.